Welcome to episode 8 in our webinar series. Today we're going to talk about role mining and how we can discover roles based on the permissions that have already been assigned to our user community. Let's take an example of what we mean by this. Here's our HR team, Jessica, Jan and Michael. They've all been assigned the same low-level permissions in various uh, repositories. But it would be really cool if we could, instead of having them have those permissions assigned directly, that we discovered that there was a role that we could assign to them instead. It'll make life easier for all people concerned because now we have an entitlement that can be understood by the end users themselves. Um, as you can imagine, the old entitlements and low-level permissions might be fairly meaningless for lay people out there in user land. So what does this mean from a IBM security verified governance perspective? How do we go about doing that role mining and discovery? Well, let's take a look. Here's our SVG demonstration environment. And you'll see there's an access optimizer um, section on the homepage. We'll take a look at that. I've already got data loaded into the platform. So what I want to try to do now is to run through a process of role mining and uh, discovery. So we'll go to our manage tab, click on role mining, select actions, add, we get presented with a set of options. I'm going to try to get the platform to discover uh, a set of roles that can be applied to more than one person. Um, so what we're going to do is find candidate roles that can be assigned to at least three people. And we want at least five entitlements, low level entitlements that is, um, to make up the role. Our role mining exercise has now been completed. So we'll click on the magnifying glass to take a look at the results. And we can see that there is indeed a candidate role has been discovered. There are five users who all have nine entitlements. So let's take a closer look at this role. If we select the map, we can see here that there are indeed five users across the top who have a common set of nine entitlements. Let's just do a reshuffle here of the map. It makes it easier to see. We can take a closer look at this and we'll see that here are the, indeed the nine entitlements spread across three applications, five users. And you'll see there Jessica, Jan and Michael, who we saw earlier in the presentation. This seems like a good candidate role for us. So what we're going to do is go to our impact analysis and release it to the Access Governance Core. We we'll provide a sensible name and click on OK. We now have a green tick on our screen, which uh, signifies that the candidate role has now been um, sent over to the Access Governance Core, and we can take a look at that now. We'll select Manage and Roles. And there we can see our HR recruitment user that we've just released now appears inside this list. If we select Management, we can see the structure of that role. It's made up of the nine entitlements that we had previously discovered. The role is not actually published at this point in time um, and hasn't been assigned to any users. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll select the Publish option. And then finally, what we will do is run the consolidate action. And consolidate is going to go and find all of the users who have these nine entitlements and give them this role instead. So we'll kick off that consolidation. The role will now be highlighted in red because the consolidation exercise is underway. And it's now gone black to say that the consolidation has completed. We select that role 
and take a look at the users who have been assigned it. There we go, we've got our five users. We'll now take a look at one of these users. And if we take a look at the entitlements assigned, we can now see the HR recruitment user role has been assigned and all those other nine entitlements have been wrapped up into that role. So they're now no longer directly assigned to that user makes everything a little bit cleaner from a, an interface perspective. And certainly it should be something that is more understandable by Jan and uh, Jan's teammates. Hopefully that helps you understand how the role mining functionality works. I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we will welcome you back for some more fun at some point in the future.